Alrighty guys, once again, Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Golden Duck Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Yep, Mr. Grant Burns. Alright, so Grant here. You can watch me build this thing in uh, text messages on the phone there. And uh, yeah, he was like, like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, very, very interesting. So anyway, um, <laughs> hey, good old Grant here. Uh, he purchased this console off the website from us, and it's all done. I've got a 250 gig drive in it. It's up on the line servers, along with the 10 day trial of Purge 4.0 for GTA 5. Uh, you have BO2 MW screen, goes to all hosts. Okay, you got Jiggy and Sentinel, and you have the College Football Revamp mod. Okay, so, tell you what, we'll fire it up. Okay, and Grant, I know that you were an old time modder, you've been around for a long time. Okay. And you want to get back into the game, you know, because people, when they sell these things, they miss them. You know, I, mean, I don't know why, but they do. Um, and then they're like, going like, man, you know, I'm like going, okay. So anyway, we're booting up. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go ahead. We're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. All right. There we are. Hey, Brent, how are you, man? Good to see you, brother. What you been up to? Where is 4.0? Uh, I'm not sure. Should be dropped to, uh, I do believe all the people, uh, that have the, uh, they have lifetime. Okay? I mean, unless, uh, unless something happened where if he didn't drop it yet, I don't know. Okay? But as far as I know, eh, I mean, you know, I'm not the developer. So I'm just like, you know, I'm just, what I hear is what I say, you know? So there you go. Alright, so anyway. Okay, now Grant, listen, brother, here's the deal here, okay, look, I'm going to sync up the controller here, you saw that you got the uh, notifications from the server, and from Purge, so we have emulators, okay, where you have NES emulator, you've got SNES 360, you've got MAME, you've got Genesis Plus 360, you've got Game Boy Advance, and back to FCE UX, alright, now, Xbox Classic Games, okay? We've got a couple of them on there, alright? Now, those are the original Xbox, and they do play. Alright, then of course you have your homebrew section where the tools reside to blow the console up and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And then of course you have Xbox Live Arcade, alright? Which is a myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games on there as well that you can play. And then of course you have Xbox 360 games, okay? Now, as you can see, we have Advanced Warfare, and we work our way over, and as you can see, all the known things, titles that we all know and loved and played many years ago and still do to this day, which is crazy. But, there you go. Alright, now, okay, to get to the original dashboard, go to the homebrew section right here. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, hit it. Alright, you can see a square pop up with your name on it. There you go. Alright, got it. Good. Bypass the sign-in. And you will see that you're up, you're online, and you're live. There you go. Our guide. And then, of course, over here in our fifth tab, we have our off hosts, which are BO2 cheats, Ghost Cheats, Modern Warfare 3, and Modern Warfare 2. To disable, hit A. To enable, hit A. Very simple. Then, go back here, go to Xbox Home, and that will take you back to FSD Dash. Now, alright, once we do that, now I'm going to show you here, okay? I'm going to show you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the mods that are on this thing, alright, just for prosperity's sake. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll sign in. And this is a local profile, by the way. It's not going on live, okay, because I'm not, uh, I'm not going to take the console on there, okay, with the live profile. Alright, now, we'll go to Xbox 360 games, okay, and I'll tell you what we'll do. First off, NCAA 14 football. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the V7 one, okay. I got the V8 one. I'm going to be up, I'm going to be upgrading this for you before it goes out, okay. In fact, all of them that are being shipped are going to be upgraded to the new, uh, to the new ones. Alright? And that way they're going to all got it. Alright? So. Downloaded to it and all that kind of good stuff. However, though, you're going to have to go on the website and go to the GitHub if you want to download more rosters and stuff like that. There's instructions on the GitHub on how to do it and all that. So, you know, you can go there and download whatever you want. So, we'll press start. We're loading. Good. And we should have a title screen shortly. I would think. There you go. Okay. And then you got all the team jerseys, you know, all the helmets and everything else. Okay. 
They're all good there. All right, you got the new Dynasty. Okay, you Road to Glory. You got the 2020 season on there. Ultimate Team. Okay, EA Sports Extras, College Football Revamp. The Management Settings. All that stuff. You're all there. Okay? So now we'll take that back out of there. And yes. Okay. Now, what we're going to do. Hey, Mike. How are you, man? Good to see you, brother. What you been up to? You staying out of trouble or what? Lord knows I'm trying. <laughs> Now, all right, we're back at FSD Dash. Now, what we'll do is, is I'm going to demonstrate a couple of mods for BO2 here. And also, the all posts, they run the same way. It's just BO2 has a couple of other uh, injected menus on there that are for BO2 only. All right, that I want to show you along with the all post. So, you know, I figure out, I, 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 you know, one stone, a couple of birds, we're good. Okay? So now we're booting up. Okay, we'll see Black Ops 2's bypass and all that stuff, and then what we're going to do, alright, is we'll go ahead and we'll hit the start button, and that will get us going here. And here we go. Now, here we are. Okay, press start. Alright, and then we're going to go to multiplayer. There we go. Alright, you'll see BO2 cheats are loaded. BO2 is bypassed. And then we're going to go, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a local game. I'm going to set the bots and use nine of them to target practice, and we're going to start the match. All right, now, listen, the all post. D-pad left to open it, X to select, beat it back out, D-pad left to close it. All right, then, of course, okay, with Jiggy, hold in left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. That will open up the menu. All right, use A to select, X to back out. All right, and, uh, you know, for Sentinel, it's going to be... Hold and left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick to open it up. You can use X to select, and then you're gonna hold and left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick to back out. All right, so you know, this is a little craziness there, but you know, hey, I didn't program it. All right, so anyway, we'll start the match here. All right, just show you what's going on. All right, I will demonstrate. First, we will open up Jiggy, okay, and then we will open up the all posts. All right, so just bear with me as this thing loads here. All right, pick a weapon. All right, now hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. There you go. Uh, whoop, see, I, I even mess up. I just hit X. Okay, A to select. Okay, we'll do quick mods. Then we'll hit X to back out of there. All right, we'll go down to bullets. Okay, we'll use swarms and grenades and hunter killers and RPGs and dogs. Okay, get out of there. All right, then we'll back out of there and then we'll back out of there. We pad left. We'll open up the off post. X to select. We'll select all this crap right here. We're back out of there, we're going to aimbot menu, turn that on, we're going to do on screen, visible warning, proximity warning, target details. You set it up any which way you want, but you know, this is the way I do it, okay? And then we go ahead and select this, and here we go. We're back out of there, back out of there, D-pad left, that closes it, go out here, and freaking let them have it. You yeah. know, works really good, you know, as you can see, it always has. And remember, you got to force the host to give you in order to, in order to play it online, so you got to become the host, alright? So anyway, as you can see, it all works pretty good. And now, if you want to become a real pick with fingers, just go to aimbot, unfair aimbot, and then pretty much you shoot your tools, victory is mine, and everybody is pissed off. Okay? There you go. Alright? Pretty much works pretty good. Alright? So anyway, yeah, just going to the final kill cam. Oh, you got to have that. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> right through the building. Boy, that was a good one. <laughs> So anyway, there you go, alright? Now, what we're going to do is, is we're going to back out of there, we're going to back out of this lobby right here, alright? Yes, and then we're going to back out of here, we're going to go straight to zombies, and I'm going to fire up zombies. Now, okay, on, on this side of the screen right here, you'll see the instructions that will tell you how to open up the menu and everything, alright? But I'm just going to demonstrate for you anyway. We'll go to local, okay. Yes, and here's the earth as we know it right now. Looks just like that too. Alright, so anyway, then we'll go, get, we'll go ahead and we'll go to transit, okay? Original, start the match, okay? Like I said, now with this, hold and left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, X to select, okay? And then hold and left trigger, push down the right thumbstick to back out. Alright, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's nuts, I know. That's just the way it is, what am I going to tell you? Alright, also you can run other mods on this thing too. There's, uh, there's quite a few VO2 mods for this thing. Alright, so anyway now, now we're at, you know, like Matrix Menu, that's another good one right there. Well, anyway, alright, hold on a trigger, there we go, push one mod, we're going to exit, we've got mode on, infinite, infinite ammo, oh, let's see here, 
Ah, we'll do a little sprint and double speed and no clip. Okay, and uh, we'll do top of lane rock. Okay, we'll back out of there. Okay, we'll go down to the weapons menu. We'll pick up a uh, we'll pick up a RPG because that works really good in destroying everything in sight and then some. There we go. And then pretty much it all works pretty good, okay, as you can see. Okay, now we'll back out of that menu. Okay, get the zombies menu. Where you can spawn a bunch of zombies if you want, then you can kill them all. You can, add, you can kill, you can spawn them, and then you can kill all the zombies, right, like that. You know, I mean, so on and so forth. So it all works pretty good, alright? So now we're going to back out of there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think we got a fatal crash here. Yes, we did. I had too many zombies going on. whoops a daisy Okay, anyway. Alright, let's do this. Well, precisely, this is what happens when you when you load too much shit at the same time on the on a 360. It's not a good scenario, okay? Anyway, there. I just rebooted it. Sorry about that. Happens. <laughs> All right. Now, anyway, we're gonna boot back up into this crazy thing. Any day now. There we go. That was a pretty much an instant instant reboot. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anyway, all right, we're back online, no problems. All right, let me go ahead and let me uh, let me load this profile right here. Okay, there we go. All right, now what we'll do is is we'll go on over, okay, and uh, let's do a little purging, okay? So we're going over to GTA 5 here. We'll select that, select that, okay? Now, okay, that's good. So am I. Thank you, Antonio. I appreciate it. Yeah, your Project Excalibur. Yeah, that was my uh, yeah, that was my original Xbox, man. I, I did a lot of work for that thing, you know, including modified that screen and everything, man. That was crazy. Man, that, that, that was just a blast. I still have it, though. It, it's nuts. I love working on the original Xbox. I got one here that I'm going to be doing uh shortly. Guys sent in. So, all right. So anyway, now listen, man. What you're going to do here is you're going to use D-pad left and X to open 3.9 and 4.0 will open with right D-pad and right thumbstick. Okay? So. Now, we, I'm using a game save that's on here already. Uh, I'm going to show you the menu options. There's a lot of options to it. There's a lot of stuff going on with it. Um, the new menu's got a lot of crap. You'll see. And, I mean, I barely scratch the surface with it. Alright, I just go through some things. So just to show you, you know, because I want you to see. All right, let's give it a second to load, and we'll go through that. And Antonio, yeah, that thing was nuts, man. I spent I spent a good two weeks on that thing, building that damn thing, you know? And then uh, that Intex screen, you know, it usually has a 5.5 screen, which is horrible. So I replaced it with a 1080p screen, and then you then did a 1080 HDMI mod right from the back of the Xbox, which was pretty cool. You know, and with the Windows computer, it works really good, I'm telling you. Putting in that Windows computer was awesome. All right, so anyway, okay, look. We got Perch 4.0 uh, 4 up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna exit that first. All right. Now I'm gonna bring up 3.9. All right. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna use. Uh, let's see here. Use A to select. I'm gonna turn all of this crap on. Okay. There we go. And we'll turn this on to what the hell. Okay. Now I'm gonna go down here to missed options, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little daylight in the, in the scenario. Okay. So there we go. And we'll back out of there. We'll back out of there. We'll back out of there. We'll close that menu. Now we'll open up 4.0. All right. Now, I'm going to take a walk outside here. Okay. And here we are. All right. Now. All right. Here we are. Now, we're going to use, uh, let's see here, A to select, of course. We'll turn God Mode on. Uh, never wanted. Nah, we don't want that. We want to leave that there. Give some weapons, infinite ammo, super punch, super run, super jump, super swim. No rag doll, and phone do not disturb. Okay. You got your quick options here. You can go off the radar, online mode, slow mo, clean peg, invisible pen, invisible vehicle. Back out of there. Drone mode brings you up and over and up, up and away, and you can go wherever you want. Okay, with the uh, with the reptile here. And uh, let's see here. Teleport to target zone. You can put you can put yourself anywhere or anybody wherever you want to. You know, I mean, you can teleport. You can teleport anything. You know, like uh, let's see here. Let's see. Can I grab hold of the car here? No, I'm grabbing hold of me. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, you know, you teleport to the target zone. Okay, so there you go, and that's, that's you being teleported to the target zone. All right, now you got air superiority. Okay, pretty much, pretty, pretty plain and simple. LB, well, RB gives, gives you fastness, so I didn't need that card. You know, and then you can also, 
you know, lay down disruption upon anything and everything that you would want in any site. See? Works really good. So on and so forth. Okay? And then of course you've got slow missiles to bring them on in there. To pretty much uh, destroy anything you want. Alright? So, there you go. That's their superiority. Okay? Uh, RC car mode, if you're in a car, you hit that, you go back and then you go into drone mode to be able to control it remotely. Alright? Creator mode. Alright? Vehicle spawner, where you can spawn all kinds of vehicles. You know, I mean, like, uh, make yourself a supercar junkyard, you put them up on the roof, in people's pools, you know, so on and so forth, see? You put them right in front of the fire truck, you know, cause them, cause all kinds of mayhem and everything else. Put them anywhere you want, okay? Works really good, okay? Back out of there, back out of there, okay? Turn that off there. Got PTFF spawner too, alright? Now, we'll turn off drone mode here, okay? And we'll go back to the ground, okay? And there we are. There's my supercar junkyard, okay? Now you can go to my player. And, you know, as you can see, it labels where I am, the heading, all that stuff. When you go to all players, when you're in session, it's going to show all the players what they're doing and all that crap, all right? Teleport locations. There's a ton of teleport locations on this thing. Also, stash the current location, all right? Uh, let's see here. Now you got recovery options. That's for online mode. Alright, you got character options, okay, stash to current pet variation, you can change it, you know, I mean, you do anything you want with it, your animations, you got a bunch of animations that you can do, ambient animations, fluid animations, uh, scenarios, okay, uh, let's see here, genealogy, other, you can change everything that you want about the character, okay, it's all right there, uh, model changer, yes, you can change it, you, you can change them into anything that you want, you can change them into a highway patrol officer, a marine, okay, and a stripper, See? Okay? There you go. Rocking a thong. Yeah. Okay? So, there you are. Alright? So, anyway, yeah. Now, we'll back out of there. We'll back out of there. We'll, we'll, we'll restore him back to original. Okay? There we go. Okay? So, anyway, yeah. He's back now. Okay? So, all kinds of good stuff on there. Alright? Your pet options. Okay? Pet spawner. Where you can spawn all kinds of crazy All kinds of crazy stuff. Me, I'm... I'm I, I like strippers. Okay? So, you know, I want to have a harem around me. So, what the hell? Okay? There you go. Think stripper strippers everywhere, stripper strippers in your hair, they're all over the place, the lost hose, the lost slot, the hole with the skirt up, the beach milk, the beach whale. Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh, that was bad. Well, that's okay though, because what we can do is we can go back here and go to spawn ped manager. She was the last one right there, see? See, did you see the arrow indicator? So what we will do is we will end her life like that. There, and she's gone, okay? Just like you can with all of them, see? You make this one disappear, and you can make this one disappear, alright? I don't want to make too many of them disappear, all right, because they're a lot of fun to have around, all right? So, and then you got your vehicle options, okay, uh, which, you know, in mod mode, you can change the paints, the colors, you know, you can also, uh, you know, you, you can also upgrade the engines, the tires, the whole nine yards, the armor plate, the whole thing, you know, it's all right there. Los Santos Customs, that's for spawning. Weapons options, my favorite, okay? We'll walk out over here, okay? And what we'll do is we'll pick the gravity gun, okay, now we have a gun. And now pretty much we can uh, grab hold of a car or whatever, throw it up in the air, okay, all that kind of good stuff. Bring it back around and use it as a, as a weapon, see. It will, it will come back to you if you want, see. It will come back up the road, okay. You know, yeah, it's just like, you know, anything else. And then pretty much you just let it go. And there it goes, okay. And you can grab anything that you want. You can grab any cars that you want, okay. Uh, also, you can grab people, see. Yeah, you're right, I do suck. Very well, thank you. See, you can throw her up in the air and do all that kind of good stuff. And you can bring it down. You can use her as a weapon, in fact, okay? Just roll her up and down the street, see? So come back up through. See, she knocks cars over, all that kind of good stuff, you know? Walks around, you know, runs around, all that kind of good stuff. Yep. Yep, there she goes, see? Works real good. Whee! Yeah, so on and so forth, okay? And then once you're done with her, throw her up in the air and just let her go. And uh, sooner or later, she'll come down. Yeah. <clears throat> just like that, okay? So, there you go. Alright, now, you got the stripper flinger, okay? That works really good. As you can see, it's got lots of velocity, okay? And when, when in doubt, fling strippers at him, okay? Works really good, I promise you, okay? God, I am terrible, aren't I? Let me go, <laughs> okay? I didn't need that car. I don't need that whore. I don't need that one. I don't need that one either. Nah, that one's bad. Nah, I don't want you. Nah, I don't like you, okay? So on and so forth, and then they're gone, alright? So, you know, pretty much all kinds of crazy stuff. Of course, force field, you know what that does. Okay? Yeah. And anything you move around. Now, mind you, these cars are in God mode, so they're just going to rock around. But anybody that comes by you or anything like that, 
in the regular corner or whatever, well, they'll get blown up, they'll feel sick, they'll get thrown all over the damn place, so on and so forth, see? Uh, as you can see, that was not in die mode, all right? And of course, you got fire ammo. Yeah, where you can uh, catch things on fire, all that kind of good stuff. You got explosive ammo. That works pretty good, too. See? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, you got all kinds of good stuff on here, man. Okay, so it all works. It all works really well. Bitch! Oh, no, it's right. Yeah, wait a minute. What are you trying to do? Gravity gun. Yeah, here we go. Let it. Don't you run from me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Where you going? Where you going, buddy? Huh? There you go. Here, enjoy your car. <laughs> so, anyway, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, police car. Wee -hee. So much for you. So much for your car. So, as you can see, it all works pretty good, okay? So, anyway, yeah. Uh, you know, you got misc options, protections, menu options, creator mode, my stashed out, big ops, and yeah, yeah, you, there's a ton of stuff on there, man. Have a blast with it, okay? Let's go back out of there, alright? And I've had enough of that, alright? I think I caused more than enough mayhem, alright? Oh, my God, okay. So, anyway, there you go. Now, alright, now that's done, alright? Now, what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time, Grant, okay? So, just a, a little, little refresher for you, because I know you used the mod and everything, but, you know, just just so a little refresher course here, all right? Look, all right, when you get the crazy thing, okay, don't just power it on. I want you to go in here. I want you to remove this hard drive, bring it up there, and then what I want you to do is then I want you to power on the console, all right? Now... What's going to happen is, is when the console boots, it's going to go ahead and you're going to see the Xbox 360 logo come up. And then what's, what's going to happen is it's going to run directly to your regular dashboard. All right. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to go on over and we're going to set up your network on the slip. All right. Hopefully you're rocking WP2SK. So we'll go ahead on over there, settings, system, and then we'll go to network settings. All right. Your Wi-Fi will pop up over here somewhere. When it doesn't, I want you to click on it and it should automatically test the Xbox Live connection. Just like this. You'll get a check mark and two red exits, okay? Now, as long as you're not running, you know, MAC address enabled, whitelisting and stuff like that, you know, it'll be fine, all right? So, and if you are, and let me tell you, if you don't have a check mark there and that's a red X, that's a bad thing. It will not connect to the internet. It will not connect at all because you can't connect to your local area network. So, you're going to find out what's going on with your router and why it's not letting it on, on, on your network, okay? So, anyway... Okay, what you should have is what I have right now. Power console off, all right? Then, I hate background downloads. Okay, take the hard drive, slip it back in, okay? Close the drive door, all right? Pull the power, leave this out for five minutes to clear the DNS out, all right? Because that's the only way you're going to wind up getting on live. Because if you don't do this, you're going to get DNS errors. It's going to give you all kinds of craziness, and you're going to be like going, like, what the hell's going on, Okay. So leave this out for five minutes, all right? For me, it's already set up on my network, so... And the Xbox has been playing nicely lately. Okay, well, today, anyway. So it's been letting it back online without any problems, okay? So I'm going to plug it back in, but you, you wait five minutes, okay? Now, I'm going to plug it back in. We'll power it on, all right? Now, when the system boots... All right, let me sync up the controller here, all right? Now, when the system boots, what's going to happen is you're going to get the Xbox 360 logo once again, all right? And then you're going to see the green stuff moving around in there. When that green stuff stops, that means it locked the server. Okay? And then what's happening is, is then it's going to run FSD. And you're going to see your plugins load and all that crap. Okay? See? It locked the server. And there goes the fan. You could, you could, uh, you, you know, set it to automatic if you want. It doesn't matter. All right? So anyway, there you are. Let's boot it up. Here's our plugins coming across the screen. There you go. All right? Life is brand. Now you got that all done. Okay? Now, we're going to make sure that's online. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the homebrew section right here. Then we're going to go to Xbox 360 dashboard, hit the A button, hit it again. All right, now Square should pop up with your name on it, which you just did. Okay, got it? Good. Okay. Now, as a modder, you know dang well, if you put a retail profile on here, you know what will happen. Okay, so I would recommend, you know, going to xboxlive.com slash live and making yourself a modder's profile and then downloading it to here. Okay, so 
do me that favor and do that, okay? Once you do that, you make the profile and you know you put the password and all that. Um, when you download it, it should look kind of like this. And what happens? You'll see the spinning circle of death. You'll see it's online. The profile signed in. Life is grand. You're good to go. All right. In the event it doesn't download the profile, and you wind up sitting here for 15 minutes going, "What the hell is going on?" Well, that means it got corrupted. So what we have to do is we have to fix it. So you back out of that screen. You come here. All right. You remember about clearing system cache? Okay. Well, we'll go to uh, we'll go to storage. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the hard drive, and then what we'll do is we will go to profiles, okay? Now, you know, that profile that you downloaded will be up underneath this one, you know, hover down to it, hey, hey, and just get rid of it, just delete it, get it right off of there, okay? Back out of there, back out of there, all right? Back out of here, leave the hard drive highlighted, hit Y, and clear the system cache, do it twice. Once, and one more time. There you go, all right? Then you're back out of here, you're back out of here, you go up, you go back over to social, you go down to sign in, sign out, and then you go to download the profile, and the profile will download, everything will be fine, okay? Once you're done there, hit the guide button, go back to FSD Dash, and then we're going to go to XM360, and we're going to unlock all of our DLC and all of our, all of our XBLA. Okay, I'll show, you how to do, I'll show you how to do that, just for possibility's sake, since you're an old-time modder, but... You know, like I said, I go through it all with everybody, so I'm going through it with you. All right, so anyway, um, go to the homebrew section right here, okay? With your profile signed in and all that, go to XM360, hit it, start it up, and you know what it's going to do. It's going to find all the DLC and all the XBLA, okay? Once it does that, then what we're going to do is we're going to unlock it all and make sure it's all unlocked for this console and it's good to go for online, all right? Because if you don't do that, you're going to wind up with title updates and it's saying you can't download the update or you'll wind up with a title update and you do this and do that. And it just turns into a nightmare. This makes it very, very easy. Also, if you download DLC and XBLA, you know you have to come here and, and you got to hash it to the console by unlocking it, all right? So anyway, we'll go over here. We'll go to unlock XBLA. We'll hit it, okay? Now, of course, no files were found because they're already unlocked this, to this profile. We're going to show DLC. Some of them are locked on this profile right here. As you can see, all the compatibility packs and everything. Well, all you got to do is just go on over, hit unlock DLC, and then it will unlock all the DLC. So that way, then you're able to play without a hindrance being online. Okay? There you go. And then, all you got to do is just back out of here. As you dash, you're good to go. Simple. Now, all right. Emulators, they all work. Every single one of them does. Okay, but uh, I just want to show you here. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go on over. And uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and go to emulators. And yeah, we'll use main this time. Okay. We'll hit main. Okay. Main will fire up. There you go. Now, these are all the games that are on this thing. Okay. All the ROMs. Okay. So, of course, uh, right trigger going down. You know, that's page by page. Now you can see there's a ton of them on there, man. A ton. Left trigger going up, page by page, deep pad down, deep pad up. A to launch the game, follow the on-screen instructions, you're good to go. Alright, once you're done with main, hit the guide button, Xbox Home. Gotta take it back. Alright, now, another thing, okay? Classic games. You wanna play a classic game, you gotta play it in bypass mode. Alright, now you know what bypass mode is. I know you do, but still in yet, there's people that don't, so, you know, so I keep pounding it into everybody's heads, okay? <laughs> When you go over to Classic Games, okay, right here, all right, if you try to play a Classic Game with the server online, you know what's going to happen, okay? You're going to get a big black screen, it ain't going to work, all right? You're going to be pissed, okay? So, we got to put it in bypass mode, all right? So, what we do is we power it off, okay? Then, we go ahead, and we hit power, and then we hit eject. Leave the tray hanging out until it boots and you get to FSD dash, okay? Do not just shove the tray in, all right? Because otherwise it will try to load the normal way, and you know you go to class games and it won't work. All right? So you know I want to I, I want to stop you from doing all of that crazy stuff. All right, I want this to work for you seamlessly. So anyway, we're gonna boot. You're gonna see no plugins. You're not gonna be able to get out onto the internet or anything like that. You only have access to your local area network. And of course, you can hook into this thing with FTP, WinSCP, FileZilla, you know Xbox 360 neighborhood. All right, it's got an IP. You can hook into it. Transfer files, transfer games, do whatever it is that you want to do on it, okay? So only now. Now we'll close the tray up, alright? And then what we'll do, we will sync up a controller. And we'll run on over to a classic game here. We will play a classic game right here, alright? And there we go. Okay, and as you can see, there's the old logo from the old, old Xbox. Alright.
right now. Let's start it up. And there we go. It's a close to place. So, there you are. All right. Now, what's going to happen is, is, there you are. You're good to go. And of course, it all plays. Everything plays just right in the way it should. Okay? So now we'll back out of here. All right. And uh, to end it, just go ahead and hit the guide button. Go back to Xbox Home. Hit it. Good. you done. That's it. All right? Now, remember, okay, it's offline now. All right? So if you try to play an Xbox 360 game online, you know damn well what's going to happen. It ain't going to connect. Okay? So you got to shut the console off and then power it back on. All right? Normally. Okay? And then it'll work. All right? Uh, what I'm going to do is, is I've had a lot of people ask me, well, Tony, how do I use FTP? Tony, how do I use Neighborhood? Tony, how do I do this? Okay. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make a video showing, how, now I did this before, but I'm going to, I'll do it again, because a lot of people have asked me. Alright, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to get into one of these things with FTP. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get into it with FileZilla. I'll show you how to get into it with WinSCP. Alright, and then what I will do is I will show you how to get into it, okay, with, uh, you know, with Xbox 360 Neighborhood. All right. Um, if you want to, uh, what I can do for you? Wait a minute. I'm going to see if I have it on the side. Hang on here. One second. Let me do something here. Okay. Just to show you what I'm talking about here. Because a lot of people, like I said, they've asked me. And I figured I would show them where the hell's my mouse. So there it is. Okay. All right. Let me show you something here. Okay. Look. All right. All we'll do is we'll go here. Now, this is Windows 10. All right. Now, go down. Let's see if I can find an SCP, which I should. Okay. Yeah, there it is. One SCP. Okay. This is uh, the same thing as an FTP client. You know, just like FileZilla, just like all of it right there. Okay? Now, what we're going to do here... Now, I don't want new versions or anything like that. I want to be left alone. See, this is why I don't like doing this today. But anyway. All right, look. No. Close. Thank you. All right. Now, no, I didn't want to close the whole damn thing, you son of a... Pardon me? Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Anyway, win SCP. Bring that back up. Oh, okay, fine. Fine. There. Happy? Okay. Oh, my God. All right, good. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. Okay. Save the file. Oh, my God. Yes. Save it. Hey. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, okay, yes, I want to, mm. <laughs> I miss Windows 7, I really do. <laughs> yes, I accept it. Next, okay, just do it. Just do it. Thank you. Okay. I want to show how to work the damn thing. Oh, my God. Okay. Fuck you and your PayPal. Okay. All right, good. Now, now we will go ahead and we will open WinSCP for the last freaking time, you solemn. Ooh. Okay, there we are, okay? Now, we will use, let's see here, FTP, okay? That's going to use port 21, all right? Host name. Now, this is what I'm talking about right here, okay? We'll go ahead. Now, I think FTP is, is loading it on this thing right now, okay? I'm not sure if it's enabled or not. That's what I'm talking about. It is loaded on here. 192.168.1.19, okay? So now, what we're going to do is we'll grab hold of our keyboard... Okay, close name. 192.168.1.19. That was it, yep. Okay, we'll use username, Xbox, okay, password, Xbox. Alright, and log in. No, not 18. Did I say 18? Oh my god. Yes, I did. Sorry. 192.168. It's very little. Dot one. Dot nineteen. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna switch this to FTP. All right. Then should be Xbox and the password Xbox connected. There you are. Okay. Now as you can see, here's your hard drive right here. You can go to that. Okay. And there's all your stuff right there. Okay. That's FTP. Okay. There's there's freestyle emulators. Okay so on and so forth, and you can manipulate anything that you want, you can put ROMs on it from your computer, you can just transfer it, real easy, see, where ROMs are located, alright, and it shows the ROMs that are on there and everything, and then you can transfer files over, just like with games too, okay, so you know, I mean, this is what FTP is for, 
Okay, this is file transfer protocol. It's been around since the freaking late 80s. You know, I mean, it, you know, it's, it, it was for mainframes and everything. Well, same thing. Okay, so there you go. And you will notice, too, if you have your Xbox on a different monitor, you will see where it's going to say. Okay. Let me uh, let this come up here. See where it says FTP connected? Yeah, well, that's me connected to it. All right. So anyway, as you can see. That's what FTP is, okay? A lot of people don't understand that, okay? And, you know, I mean, that's what that's for, okay? You know, so that way then you can transfer files back and forth from your computer to the Xbox. It also works on Android. A lot of people say, oh, you need your computer to mod. Well, no, not really, okay? If you have an Android phone and you have FileZilla on it or an FTP client, you can connect to it and you can transfer stuff that you downloaded off the Internet onto the Xbox through FTP. Alright, it has many different ways to connect to it. Alright, you don't just need a PC. Okay, so you can do a lot of stuff with this thing. A tablet will work too. Okay, so, just so you know. There's a lot of things on this thing that I really do need to do videos on and explain. Because some people, they just, they, they don't want to go on YouTube and, and search or Google or whatever. Okay, you know, I mean, so, pretty much, you know, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to do, how to transfer stuff in games and everything else. You know, I mean, if you have games that, that you downloaded off of, like, Pirate Bay or whatever. Okay, and um, you know you, you you got you got the games and you transfer them and you uh, you go you use ISO to God uh, to format them. Okay, and to put the game on the Xbox in an ISO to God format. All right, well it's real easy to do. You use your PC, you convert it over to a God package, which is games on demand, right? And then you transfer it to the games folder on this thing, which would be if you look at the file manager. Okay. You go here, you go to HD1, you go to File Manager, and you go to Games. Well, that's where all your games are. And what you would do is you would take that whole folder that you got with the game on demand, you would make the folder with the name on it, and then you would just transfer it to that folder across the network from your PC to the Xbox. It's really easy. Okay, you know, it's not hard. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff on this thing that a lot of people, they don't even scratch the surface on this thing. They only go by what mods that have been, uh, you know, broadcasted all over the place and, you know, that have been publicized and everything. But they have no idea about the other stuff that this thing can do. And it's a shame because, you know, you're wasting something that can be, that, that has a lot of features to it, okay? You know, that's still viable these days. And it's a 15-year-old console, for God's sake. It was made in, what, 2000, 2006 or 2005. Yeah, I remember the first Xenon, yeah. So, you know, I mean, it was way ahead of its time, you know? And it's still viable today because people are still buying them and they're still using them. So that says a lot for it. So, you know, I mean, there you go, you know? Hey, Tiffany, how are you, man? Good to see you. What you been up to, girl? You been staying out of trouble or what? I hope so. Uh, Cody, if you're on, if you have, um, if you have Lifetime on uh, 3.9, it should automatically update to 4.0. All right, just to let you know. All right. So anyway, you know, Grant, listen, thank you for your business, man. I greatly appreciate it. I hope I opened your eyes to some stuff and everything. All right. Enjoy the live stream, and guys, listen, thanks for hanging with me. I greatly do appreciate it. I hope that I've explained some stuff to you. Uh, I'm going to explain a lot more. When I get a little bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some full-blown videos on how to transfer and everything, showing all this and everything. I'm going to try and use an Elgato for it, so, you know, so that way then you're able to see it better and not use this freaking monitor, okay? So anyway, guys, listen, you'll have a good one, and I'll holler at you all later, okay? Take care of yourselves and be safe.